had a little treasure detour up to the north there and continuing to make, to make our way toward the boss of the Volcano World. I'm hoping we're pretty close, but this place is pretty big, pretty huge. So we're continuing to run into these uh, solar guys and these flaming chameleons. That's what they look like anyway. It's kind of funny. Um, finding it pretty expedient to use uh, Aegis Aura on the Templar because he doesn't take damage and he gets in that counterattack. The counterattack I've been raving about was pretty awesome. And look at that. That was his turn. He got to cleave. But the cool thing um, is that he blocks for the guys left and right, and so he doesn't take damage. And that helps a lot. I don't have to keep boosting my heal so much. But this lullaby seems to have worked pretty good this time. Because this is a pretty tough battle overall. Uh, these guys can definitely uh, nuke down my health pretty fast. And then they put the burning effect on. The burning effect just keeps dropping the damage. So, I don't want to be totally weak when I get to the boss, so we'll try to keep our health levels up. And that's all pretty obvious, but the question is how to fight them. So, more and more trying to make use of that leg shot of the marksmen's to paralyze some of them, and it's really great when Lullaby gets most of the party. And man, we're low. We're pretty low right now. I'm going to have to look at my menu and forget how far I am from a level. You get quite a bit of experience going through this place, so that's pretty good. Um, last time I was at the save circle, I actually didn't even need to use a campfire. So, so I've been able to stay topped off uh, fairly, uh, not easily, but able to do it at least. So now it's clear sailing that they're all sleeping, but um, yeah, otherwise, a whole big group of all these solar spars, they do the double, like, laser beam, sunbeam attack. Uh, does quite a bit, I guess. I keep watching the Templar, he's like siphoning <laughs> magic points every time he attacks people. That thing's just pretty cool. And the funny thing is, is I don't really need it on him so much. But I guess it's nice to be able to use Cleave a lot. Except you don't want to use it when your party is um, attacking guys who are sleeping. So we'll just keep... Uh, there's that stun again. That stun's really great from the whip. And my heal. I'm slowly bringing people back up to health. Okay little bit more little bit more not sure how he used a, a leg shot on a Vulcan Ray but we get the idea I mean it looks like he flies so maybe I trapped his leg or something like that and he got paralyzed but anyway it's a paralyzing ability no matter what it's called and it's pretty sweet Okay, finally was able to switch over to Song of Serenity and get some heal going on my guys, and then I used a few turns. Now we'll find out if that was worth it. Yep, definitely worth it. That time it worked out. Sometimes I... Okay, I saw that I was about 6,000 away from levels on a lot of people. Um, but we're doing pretty good, so I'm hoping I'll have another level before we hit the boss, and that'll get us topped up again, especially refilling those mana points. Got to have those full, got to get those abilities running full time. Now the question is to take the detour or not. Always take the detour, I guess. There's got to be treasures down here. That's one thing, they don't really seem to waste your time so much in this game. Um, you know, there's long paths and stuff like that, but at least it's not like wasted. There's at least something to be gained by going all the way down there. And here we go, five potions. It's worth 5,000. And those potions will heal my guys pretty completely up. 
Uh, so that was a win in spite of the fact of this battle that I just got in. And no, I hate it. I hate it when they steal mana. So annoying. So annoying. It's like a precious resource, practically. And they just slurp it all away. And another party of these guys too. So I'm going to Aegis Aura, the Templar, and we're going to try that Lullaby again. And again, well, three of them this time is not so bad. Again, it's pretty effective. And this time we leg shotted a burning flame. <laughs> the irony of it all. He doesn't have legs. But it doesn't matter. It's a paralyzing shot. Okay. The marksman got hit pretty hard right off the bat, so we're gonna keep uh, topping her back up. And there's that exhaust again. Really annoyed by that exhaust. Okay. A uh, good thing I have that really high uh, mana point giving item, the power glove, on the mystic, or I would have long been out of ability to heal or do anything effective. And the Templar at least keeps uh, getting a little bit back with his attack. I was hoping there was some kind of spell that would be like a mana leech use that to try to refill but I haven't seen one yet there's one of the abilities that the mystic has that I keep thinking that's what it is and I must be because I played it in a different game I figured oh that that's what that does but nope not in this one so we'll just keep chopping away at them these guys are taking actually quite a lot of hits Kind of surprising, you expect them to go down a little quicker, but they don't. They soak it up, and I just made a big mistake. I actually changed my song. I was like, oh, I want the 10% heal, and and I forgot that the bard was actually singing all these guys to sleep. So I got myself in a little bit of trouble here. But it's not too much. I mean, we're still pretty full on, on uh, health points, so we're doing all right. Nice, that critical, but the solar spar still survived. Do I use it? I don't really want to use it, not right now. The Aria of Ancients, doubling my damage, so I'm kind of hoping... Ooh, wow. Uh, that was interesting, um, forgetting my other thought. The uh, Templar now has many stacked fire attacks on him, but I think the heater shield he's wearing is actually causing heal to happen from all those fire um, damage effects that are on him. So he heals like crazy now when they uh, with those effects. But for everybody else, I've got to get that. Oh, there goes the bar dead. And there goes the marksman almost dead. So things are getting bad now with that massive amount of stack damage. Now, uh, I wanted to cleanse, and the Mystic is now dead. There's no way they're going to kill the Templar, though. That's the thing. The only problem is he's going to be the only, guy, the only guy to survive. So, that's not really cool. I need to... I don't really want to kill both of them at once. But... Yeah, look at that. They just heal right back up. He heals uh, from that attack. So this whole battle has gone sideways. Uh, we're pretty much gonna end up with everybody dead except the Templar. And I'm gonna be nice if I could actually start rezzing people so they get the experience. But I might I may not be able to, I might just have to gut it out with him and with his counterattack and stuff. I mean they've debuffed him a bunch of times with his counterattack. Uh, he just keeps knocking them down. This is almost like a stalemate. Like, you can't kill me, I can't kill you. Except that the Vulcan Ray is not healing. 
Um, yep, keep chopping away. Finally, you get him just a little bit more, and he gets it all. All the experience to myself. Oh, what to do with it? Okay, Mr. Templar. Stamina is always good. Strength, he needs, with the counterattack especially now, the strength is, you know, doubly valuable. And time to resurrect a whole bunch of people. Bing, bing, bing. Three people back on their feet. And now we've got to do a lot of heal. Can't tent. Can't campfire. Those would be perfect in this situation, obviously. But also, obviously, very OP because you can just carry a bunch of those around and when everything's got close. Tons of free heals, so in this case, we are going to use up all of our available MP and a bunch of magic vials to fill it back up. This is not looking real good. I really only have like what a dozen magic vials left and they only fill 30 each. Just looking to see if anybody dropped any, uh, any of the monsters dropped any more heat effect items. Doesn't look like it so we'll just keep grinding our way through. Oh this was uh, where we picked up the chest and I don't think there's anything on this little left path but it's worth looking. Maybe it's worth looking. We'll see what kind of battles we get into. Because <laughs> that last one kind of cost us all the potions. I mean, I didn't use them in that case. I, I want to use those in battle. Those 1,000 reheal potions. But uh, comparably, it almost cost us all the potions that we went down there to get. And now we get to use that Aria of Ancients, so this battle should go a lot faster, a lot easier. In fact, yeah, I was going to say my Templar is like going to counterattack and kill everybody uh, pretty quickly. The good thing that we have going in our favor, though, is we have levels coming up pretty quickly, and that'll refill our MP. Um, with that... I will, I will have the endurance to go a lot further. I'm kind of debating whether I should go back to the save circle or whether it's worth just continuing onward, but I'm thinking with those levels, it's the same effect, right? So I might as well not uh, go back to campfire or tent. Definitely save that. This guy should be pretty close. Oh, great. But the Templar gets to attack anyway. Counterattack. And there we go. That's a piece of cake. Let's see. 4,000, 9,000. Yeah, people are pretty close. We just got to get back out of this little alleyway and make our way left, in fact. Scouting out uh, how many, how much for next level? 8,000 on the marksman. We're pretty close. We're very close. This is going to work. I, I don't need to go back to that save circle. So, we'll push onward. About face. Here we go. Might want to put some more mana on the Mystic. Or swap the Book of Skills to the Mystic so she levels faster. I think that's our general plan right now. Pinwheel him and swap out. Okay, we'll be right back after the break as the video time is up as well. <laughs> 